guys welcome back to my channel so for the past few months I am into gluten free and dairy free foods so today I'm going to do my favorite recipe which is brownie as you can see it's gluten free from Bob's Red Mill so the ingredients that we need is only three eggs and butter but the butter that I'm using also is gluten free, dairy free, natural flavors, contents omega 3 and GM free. Free from milk and lactose, free from gluten, natural flavors and flowers, free from nut oils and free from soy and good for vegetarian and vegan. So, as you can see, the three ingredients are stated over here. One package of Bob's Red Mill gluten free brownie mix with three eggs and half cup of butter melted. So, probably about 125 grams of uh, butter. So, there are the steps. So, step one is preheat oven to 325 grams, about 150 to 160 Celsius. Grease 9 inch to 9 inch baking pan, but the baking pan. I'm going to see later which type of baking pan I'm going to use. I'll show you guys. Step 2 is pour brownie mix into a mixing bowl. Add eggs and butter and mix well. Pour batter into pan and spread evenly with a spatula. Bake until toothpick inserted in the center comes mostly. Well, this is a common step that you will see in each and every ingredients that we're going to bake. So it it will it will make about sixteen brownies. If you can use eight to eight inch pan as well. So this is ready made brownie mix. Next time I will show you how to do your own brownie mix with gluten free flours. So let's begin. I've been using Nutilex butter for quite some time i usually just put on my braid but today i'm going to use it for baking so there are a few other flavors that nutilex have nutilex original nutilex light nutilex plus butter plus bar buttery oh and nutilex olive this is the one that i always buy but today eventually it doesn't have, it's out of stock. Nitrite, Nitrite, Olive Light, Swear Light, and oh, I can't see this actually. What is this? Nitrite Kosher! It's Nitrite Kosher, can you see? Yeah! So this is basically a new butter, because initially I was using this, but it's already finished. Okay, let's go ahead. So, I've already keep this butter into a room temperature so it's very soft. I'm going to measure it now for about half a cup of butter. Ooh, okay. Let me just adjust a bit. Yep. So, we need one and a half cup of butter. So, uh, if it is one and a half cup, that means it's about... 115 to 120 grams. So let's cut the butter that I'm using. Okay. Oh, it is so soft. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's about 50. So since it's about uh, 115, okay, I think I'm going to use 114. That's perfect for my brownie. So I'm going to transfer my butter inside this little bowl because I'm going to melt the butter inside the microwave. <coughs> By the way, this bowl is a uh, micro safe. Micro, I micro, I want to say it. Okay, so 
okay see I've already removed all the butter yeah I'm gonna go and melt the butter see you in a bit so I've melted the butter here you go so buttery okay I'm gonna transform into my big bowl okay I'm just gonna pour this inside there About the excess hmm. Okay, just keep it keep it aside because I'm gonna cool this butter a little while and I'm going to break my three eggs. Let's break it up. Break my three eggs, put it aside, and I'm gonna cut this as my scissors. Scissors, there you go. Where are you? Okay, I got my scissors. I got my okay, got that, got that. Snip it up. All right. Okay, I'm going to pour all of this brownie mix into the oh look at that. It smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to eat. So use a spatula to mix all of these like this and also you can start to pour your eggs. You don't have to pour one by one because this mix already like predicted this amount of eggs that you need to pour into this mix this brownie mix so you don't have to pour it one by one okay so i'm just going to pour everything in just scrap it up all the leftover eggs okay so let's keep this aside okay let's start to stir oh look at my egg oh my egg doesn't want to be doesn't want to break Right. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, look at it, guys. Look at that. So there's a website to buy all box red meal products. You can buy them online straight away from their uh, website. Or else you can get it from Amazon same time at Singapore so I purchased it at Mustafa Center so over there at Mustafa Center you can get a lot of imported products from basically all over the world so give a goodness okay guys and it's optional if you have uh, like any nuts walnuts hazelnuts pecans you, you can just add in so i've been been mixing the butter for about few minutes now 
as you can see this is the consistency that we want can you see it guys if it is too watery means lack of brownie mix because you have put a lot of butter if it is so hot that means it's lack of butter so you just have to add some butter this is the pan that I'm going to use 9 to 9 inch uh, roughly so I'm going to grease this pan first with butter just gonna use my hand to grease okay So that it will be easy for you to remove out from the pan at the same time please don't forget to preheat your oven to about 150 to 160 okay after greasing like this ah so nice to play with the <laughs> butter like this There you go. So grease your pan like this. Even though you're using a silver pan, you can just do it as what I did right now. Okay, so grease like this. You can even dust with uh, some flour. But since I don't have any other extra flour, so I'm just going to use it like this. So I'm going to pour my batter in here. Ta-da! So this is my final look of my brownie mix. I have poured everything inside and make it tap it like this so that it's evenly distributed to all four edges. And I'm going to put this into the oven, which is I've already preheated to 160 degrees. So this is my oven. Just I've already set it to 160 in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna put my pan inside. There you go, my pan is already inside. So let's wait for 30 minutes. I'll see you guys later. So guys, this is the final piece of the brownie cake. So it's it happens to be a little bit of crack so anyway you're gonna just cut it and eat it anyway so that's how it is just gonna eat this so yummy see this is the texture of my brownie ah, I'm just gonna eat this Mmm, this is so crunchy on the top and so gooey inside. So, you guys can try it out.